Hello everybody! So today I am here with a really exciting video because it's a styling video. I know I haven't done one of these in a really long time. A bunch of you have been asking like when are you going to do your next styling video? I need some outfit ideas. I got you today. I'm going to try to do more of these videos because I really, y'all know I like fashion. I like dressing up. I like, you know, putting together outfits and I'm going to try to do more of these videos so I can give you guys outfit ideas. So I got some stuff from H&M, also got some stuff from Zara. So I'm gonna show you what I got and then I'm gonna go ahead, put everything into an outfit, show you how I would style them. And by the way, most of these pieces on their own, they don't look that spectacular, I'm not even gonna lie. But um, once you put them together, once you style them up, you can have a really dope outfit. I'm gonna start with the H&M pieces first. I got this stretchy crop top. It kind of reminds me of a peasant top in a way. It has these two little strings so you can tie it in the back. Then it has a little ruffle action at the top here. Kind of a poofy sleeve. I thought it was just a really cute dainty top. Something you could throw on with some jeans. And it seems like it'll be ultra comfortable to wear. Next I got this drawstring top in this subdued floral print. So this one has ties at the shoulders. And then it also has ties at the waist. So you can cinch it in, make it smocked. This is super light weight it just looks like it will be very easy to move around in something that will be comfortable on hot days especially when you don't feel like having a bunch of fabric on so I got this and this was $24.99 next I got this bag you guys and I am so in love with this bag this definitely reminds me of the Christian Dior bags that are really in right now and of course this was way less expensive this was $34.99 <laughs> but it definitely gives gives you that look for a fraction of the price, which I'm always for. And I just love the print on it. I thought that this would be great for adding some print into an otherwise basic outfit or an otherwise like neutral outfit. And I love the size of it as well. It has a zipper compartment inside and then the rest is open. They do have this bag in a couple different print styles, but um, this one was the one that I went for because I just knew that this will work so well in my wardrobe with the colors that I like to wear and everything like that. Next up from H&M, I got this olive green. It's classified as a shacket, which is like a shirt slash jacket. It's kind of like a heavy duty button up. I liked the kind of industrial feel of this with the oversized pockets in the front. Front. I like the tortoise buttons on it. I just thought this would be a great layering piece. And to me, this olive green is like a neutral. You can mix it and match it so many different ways. And it is $39.99. I got a t-shirt as well. I don't know what it was about this one, but as soon as I saw it, I just wanted to get it. And it's this one, it says Yale. This is a bit oversized as well. This I got in a small and it looks like a medium slash large. I liked it because the letters, they're felt, they're raised. I just like the look of it, the quality of it. Of course, the colorway as well. Whenever I just want a really chill day, just want to be comfortable and casual, I can throw this on. And this was $17.99. So that's all I got from H&M. And now for the Zara pieces. I mostly got bottoms from Zara. So these are called straight high rise ankle length jeans. I really needed some more light wash jeans and I also wanted some cropped jeans that kind of had a flare. Well these are straight leg but they on me they flare out a little bit which I wanted because I wear a lot of skinny jeans on a regular basis and I wanted to kind of switch it up get a different type of style in my collection and the price on these these were $45.90. Then I got these these are called the Mercer joggers in sweet khaki. These pants I was drawn to because I always love a jogger pant but these I feel are elevated because they're not like sweats I like that they have the elastic cuffs at the ankle so I can hike them up a little bit get that slouchy look also have some stretch right here at the waist so I just knew that these would be so so comfortable to wear the color is really nice too it has a washed effect and these were $49.90 and then the last pair of bottoms I got were these right here these are called the marine straight in stone gray so these are high-waisted wide leg pants and this really nice neutral color. Only thing about these is that they don't have any pockets in the front. I would have preferred some pockets in the front. They do have pockets in the back so that's nice but no pockets in the front and they have the unfinished hem at the bottom. These are just some bottoms. I could rock so many different ways. I could mix. I could match because this color goes with almost everything and these were $49.90. Last thing I got from Zara is a t-shirt. It just says iconic look on it. So this 
t-shirt I got in a size medium and it was $10.90. So those are all the pieces that I picked up in this haul and now let's go ahead and put them on, get dressed, get jazzy, style them up, show you how I would rock them. All right guys, so this is the outfit with the joggers and as you can see, I just paired it with this blazer. This is a faux leather blazer that I got from Zara a while back. I have on the snake print lace up sandals. I just thought that, you know, a nice print would be great for this look. Also have my Louis Vuitton bag and of course some really cool shades. So this look I feel is a little edgy. It looks really chic, really put together. I don't have anything on underneath my blazer because I just like this kind of open airy look with nothing under it. But I do have on double sided tape so this is not going anywhere. It's not going to show anything um, just to be secure. So yeah, this is the look and I really like the color combination as well with the brown and the olive green. I think it looks really nice. With these joggers we could also just do a white off the shoulder top like this. Same shoes, same bag and it's a completely different look. So just changing one thing can give you a totally different vibe and it's just a really easy way to get a bunch of different looks out of one item. All right, so here are my high-waisted straight leg cropped jeans from Zara. And I am really feeling these jeans. Paired it with this matching cropped jacket and like bra top type of thing. These are both from Pretty Little Thing. My new H&M tote bag. These slides from Zara. This jacket has shoulder pads in it, so I got the strong shoulder look. I'm loving the wash on these jeans. The way they fit is really nice and this will be a great just going out during the day type of look. I could also pair these jeans with my iconic look t-shirt that I just got from Zara. I threw on this embellished jacket on top. I got this from the Bloomingdale's outlet a couple years back. Have my Bottega dupe bag that I got from Amazon. And then these slides I got from ASOS maybe a year or two ago. So that is this look just to show a different way that they could be styled. For the Zara straight leg khaki pants, I went pretty simple and just paired it with this white off the shoulder top. This is from Pretty Little Thing. Then I just have a printed clutch bag. I got this so long ago, I can't even remember where I got it. I wanna say like maybe Etsy or eBay, but I'm not sure. And then I have on these super low heeled sandals. I keep wanting to put my hands in my pockets, but it doesn't have pockets in the front. I could also, instead of the clutch, go with my new H&M bag. and have this be the look. And this is really easy breezy. I'm imagining like going on a lunch date. Effortlessly fabulous. <laughs> so that's this look. These bottoms could also be paired with my new crop top from H&M. This top is ultra comfortable. Like it's so easy to move around in. I love the way it feels on. And these little puff sleeves are the cutest little detail. And I just think it goes so well. I paired it with this bag, this clutch bag that I got from Amazon. Same shoes. We could also, with this look, layer the olive green H&M jacket over top of it. I think this works as well, especially if it's a little chilly outside or maybe you're indoors and it's like really cold. Another way I can rock this top is by pairing it with a skirt like this. I got this midi skirt from Zara a year or two ago, something like that. Then I have this fringe bag and some brown lace up sandals, which I got from Pretty Little Thing. So I'm really feeling this look. It's giving me glam, but not over the top glam, just like, you know, attainable glam. And I always love any time I can rock this skirt. I really love this skirt as well. So that is another option for this top. 
Another look with this skirt, I paired it with my other new H&M top, the one with the ties at the neckline and also at the sides. But what I did with this is I went ahead and tucked in the bottom and I left the strings out at the sides because I thought that would be a cool little detail for the outfit. Same shoes, I went ahead and went with my Louis Vuitton bag. This top, it feels like you're barely wearing anything. It's so lightweight, which I like. I feel like if I was on vacation somewhere tropical and it's like really hot and humid, this would be perfect for that. Or I could do my cream clutch with this as well. Another outfit with this top, just to show you guys again, just how easy it is to mix and match. I have on these faux leather shorts. These are from Pretty Little Thing. Same shoes clutch bag from Amazon. And here is a super casual look with my olive green H&M jacket. I paired it with these um, asymmetrical shorts, which I'm really into. I just got these recently from Revolve. I love how like it goes at an angle here. It has some extra up here. I just think it looks really, really cool. I have this little bralette type of thing that I got from, I believe I got this from ASOS. I have these um, Dior dad sandals on and then my H&M tote bag. This I feel would be perfect for running around. Maybe you have the kids with you, you're going to a park, you're going to a fair, you're going to a beach maybe. This would be really um, cool for that. And it's, you know, very easy going. So this is one way I would wear this piece here. Or I could throw on my Yale t-shirt. I made it cropped by just taking it and tucking it underneath my bralette and it stays like that. So I could rock this with my dad sandals, my asymmetrical shorts, and my H&M tote bag. And this is another uber casual outfit for running around, doing whatever. All right guys, so those were all of my new spring looks. Hope you enjoyed. I will of course have the links to all my outfits down below in the description box. And yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch up with you on my next one. Bye.